Greetings, YouTube. I would normally uh, wait until a live stream to do this, but uh, I was able to put together some unexpected five-star shards tonight uh, from opening some crystals, and that allowed me the opportunity to open another dual-class crystal. And of course, by the time my normal live stream comes up on Tuesday, the dual-class crystal, which includes science for Red Guardian, will be gone. And so uh, if you missed our last one, we got our mojo on again, and I'm just going to kind of have a tradition when I'm doing this, that the last champion we open, we're just going to make them the profile pick. Why? I don't know. But uh, might as well try. This is just the complete bane of, of my channel's existence. I am so ready to hunt for Cosmic Ghost Rider or Strife, you name it. But we've got rules on this channel, and this is going to be round number 163. 163! for Red Guardian, for the dad bod. And so, uh, the fun thing about this one is that we are almost there, but not quite for five star shards. So we're gonna first open this four star Nexus. I've been waiting for the right time to open. And that Nexus would have been much better than my six star Nexus I got for the gauntlet. Would have chosen Doc Ock. I'd love a six star Doc Ock. But, you know, that's, uh, Ironically, a storm of disappointment normally when that happens. So, you got the Doc Ock, you got the regular four-star crystal. And, uh, boy, if you had guessed the right champion in that, let's just say it would have been a long shot for you to do so. But maybe you did. But, uh, scrolling down now, and let's see what we're at after this. We are... One four-star crystal away. So, let's see if the four-star dad bod can bring us a five-star. Let's fast tap this and see what happens. Come on, dad bod. Is he at least going to be in the reel for the four-star? No. What a way to come up small. And now I feel like every time somebody lands on Ant-Man, it's like haunting the people who were convinced Ant-Man was going to get the major overhaul buff from Kabam instead of Guillotine. But looky there, as predicted, we are now at 10,000 five-star shards. And I'm going to be optimistic, and I'm going to say Immortal Abomination has been my favorite new champion that I've uh, ranked up recently. He was incredible. Shout out to my man Triumphant, who helped give me some advice on what Synergy team to bring in, including Immortal Abomination, for the second-to-last chapter of the Cavalier Event Quest, a.k.a. the Science Chapter. Uh, between Mr. Fantastic and Human Torch and uh, Immortal Abomination and Doc Ock. Incredible. <sighs> Can the dad bod at least be in the reel for round 163? He was not in the reel when it slowed down for 162 on the live stream. So, who knows? Only Kabam has the answer to this question. But maybe, just maybe he'll be in the reel. He's in the reel more on daily crystals and like one of the six star crystals we opened in the gauntlet. Yeah, he was there. He was one away, actually. But it didn't matter. And of course, he's not in an incursions crystal this time, which is unfortunate. All right, here we go. Here we go. The crystal is slowing down. And let's see if he's even in the reel. I just don't even know what to say anymore. Did you hear, like, the uh, excitement go out of my voice? That is the ninth dupe of OG Hulk. Ironically, we just awakened our six-star OG Hulk. So, round 163, a huge failure. And I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. Gosh. Well, YouTube, that was painful. But what else is new? Please hit that pity like button. We'll be on round 164 coming up. We're almost to 169, so hey, I guess that's something.